Yo, what's going on guys, Alpha Place here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do advanced cloning. I made a video previously on how to do basic cloning. This would be advanced. So if you haven't seen that, I recommend you do. We're going to get straight into it by importing our two clips that we're going to use for our duplication. Now that I have my two clips, I'm simply going to grab the second clip over here and drag it on top of the first. Now I'm going to go to the edit tab and shrink this. And I'm going to cut this down so it's the same length as the one beneath it so let's bring this down to here there we go i'm gonna click on the one up here and go to color tab now i'm going to add an alpha output over here so right click add alpha output and connect the video to it there we go and make sure you're on the power window right here make sure you're on that and click this right here now i'm gonna go to point where i can see him the other guy's here so i'm gonna make a mask Approximately here, we're always going to move it, but just to get a reference. Just connect it from underneath. By the way, scroll, scroll wheel is zoom. And if you want to kind of like move in the zoom, hold down scroll wheel and then move the mouse. So, yeah, those are the controls. So, now what we're going to do is go back to the edit tab and see the timing of everything. As you can see here, I'm already kind of getting hit and this guy didn't even punch yet. So what I'm going to do is basically the guy on the left right here is early. That's the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it ahead. So just move it a little bit ahead. Um, first of all, take take this off just so you could do like precise uh, movements because it's not that delayed and then turn it back on. OK, grab this and move it back. So that's basically just going to go back to earlier in the video. So now it should be a little bit more timed. No. Okay, so we need to go more. More. We can actually just see it like this. That that looks pretty good. How about the other punch? I have, that's I'm happy with that. So move it back and then move this like that. Okay. Now it is timed. Let's go back to the masking. So let me show you something. Before we get into masking, uh keyframing and everything, look at this. Look at this line. You can see this clear difference. We're gonna fix this right now. Let's go to the color tab. Make sure you selected on this clip, the one up top, and increase the soft one right here to four is pretty good. Now let's go back. It doesn't exist, so we just fix that, and that, that just blends basically them both. So it just makes it perfect. Now let's get into the actual keyframe. So let's go to the point where it's about to cross the line with the punch. It would be right, right here across the line. Go to the frame before, and click on the corrector one right here make that keyframe and move something very slightly just so it creates a keyframe let's get into the actual framing so obviously each frame I'm gonna have to move this but before I do you're gonna notice look whenever I move this to make the punch it's gonna start cutting cutting him off in his legs and stuff so the way to do this is to create two uh, circles so let's just do that basically two stopping points so just click now it's only going to move this middle one, so anything in this range, so it's basically just going to be the punch. Anything you do, it's going to keyframe it since you have this on. So you basically just got to move it every time you go a frame. Just move it something. There we go. Perfect. Let's move this down. This down. This down. Make sure everything's good down there. There we go, that clears. So that's basically it. Um, I'm going to do the next punch. Kicking would be the same thing. You basically just got to mask it. You just got to keyframe mask and uh, yeah. So now you could have conflict with your with yourself, basically. So I'm going to make do the second punch just to make sure you guys get the point here. So I'm going to go a lot of frames ahead. I'm just going to actually hold it because until I make my next punch, which is coming up right here. Once again, I'm going to make a little change because it's been a while. And... Now it's time to start tracking the punch. So let's move this. Move it. There we go. As you can see, it's kind of getting on way of the arm. So we're just going to fix that. And have it as well. I 
obviously it does take a lot of practice and uh i'm basically just started learning how to do this so it's not gonna be perfect especially for your first time you might have to refilm it uh a lot uh but um this is just basically how to do it editing wise as you can see now uh, now my legs being cut off right here so i gotta fix this that's a wrap so i'm going to export it and i'm going to show you it so i'll do that thank you for watching the video uh, that's basically how you do it if you guys got any questions leave them in the comments down below and uh hope you enjoyed the video so see you in the next one i might show cloning with three characters that could be interesting I, I'll, sh I'll just show you what i did so what i did was these are the two fighters of course and i have like the referee so um we can have a bunch of duplicates um you could probably have on this screen you can have a guy here you can have a guy here you can have a guy here he, like you can have probably like 10 dupe 10 of you if you want in this in this scene so guys i'll see you in the next video peace